hello guys welcome to another episode on this channel yeah in case you are new kindly subscribe in case you want to support us you can also share this video on our social media we depend on your support so today we want to check about uh, we want to talk about this uh, we have a, a lot of young people with a phone in the hand in this country in kenya we have a, a company called i don't know it's a parastate or a company ministry of tourism they have a, 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 a division called magical kenya i believe that uh, magical kenya can also come up to support our young people who are trying to vlog or to shoot videos or showcase the country they can even come up with a license a free license that they can give to them to access all corners where they we can showcase how beautiful and how good kenya is we don't need to use a lot of funds the way rwanda has done it has gone to arsenal and paid that they should write here like visit rwanda all the money is going back to the uh, to the colonizer in europe and so i don't, haven't seen kenya advertising magical kenya or visit kenya but i believe instead of sending the way Rwanda has done instead of sending uh, 500 million dollars every month or i don't know how much they pay to arsenal to advertise there about rwanda or about kenya what we need to do as east africans we need to the government needs to come up with a way or a framework on how to support these young people who are trying to do something on online by advertising because most of these youtubers they get arrested they are frustrated they sometimes they don't have good gadgets to do the work you understand and so we believe that the government will come in the minister of tourism in kenya or even in rwanda if you are listening to me we have young rwanda rwandan people rwandis who can showcase who can advertise and reach the audience that arsenal reaches because there are many i believe we will do some changes as governments in east africa we can use our we have already the workforce why should we send money outside to advertise for ourselves use this money to uh, empower these youths who are trying to do vlogging who are trying to blog also do not frustrate these youths let them try to do something to showcase our country i'm surprised that uh, we cannot even go to masai mara and shoot the wildlife shoot, uh, make videos about the masai mara wildlife because the prices are too high you understand you cannot do even a documentary documentaries in kenya are done in kenya or tanzania or even ethiopia they are done by foreigners why should they come to do for us documentaries in our national parks if these national parks are benefiting the foreigners then i think what we should do we should just even dismantle them and uh, let uh, remove the whole ecosystem and start farming because it's not benefiting us you can find that there is a video of national geographic that is sold back to kenya for millions and millions of dollars for us to view it why why do we have very uh, wrong policies that cannot help the real african man with our own resources guys i need you to tell me in the comments below why is it that someone from outside will come and be given the privilege to do videoing in the even to, to have a house in a national park but for an african if even he tries to go there he will be shot dead why because i believe it's a time that africans should wake up and uh, i know democracy cannot work in africa because we are too religious too tribal and too envious and too too we are, i mean we are just too much everything and so we need to find competent people who can come up with the policies that can save our, that can be of beneficial to us first before they go to benefit and our uh, foreign countries
if you go to the mineral sector there are only foreigners who are mining you go to the game parks who can be allowed to make videos there they are only foreigners they are given first privileges whether they have money or no we are the citizens we own those national parks we pay taxes to go to those national parks and these taxes they maintain these national parks guys why is it that i cannot be given a privilege or a small like if you're making a video in masai mara national park or nairobi it should if they there is a charge or the there is a price that i should pay for me to go with a camera inside to make a documentary for me it should be somehow lower not like they tell me to get for 2000 or 100000 kenya shillings where will all the other youtubers get this kind of money guys we need even to allow them to do in just make sure that they can afford to go into the park and then we have safety measures and these people they can showcase what kenya has to offer guys that is what we need i believe that maybe we will wake up sometime and we, we we need to elect leaders based on how they can perform for us based on how they can think that this policy can help our youths to have jobs to employ themselves to showcase kenya you understand if if the youth start shooting videos and showcasing on youtube on facebook about kenya about the good things about kenya we promote tourism and a lot of people will come and there will be a lot of revenue for the government to run but now you see what are we doing now sometimes there is no benefit of being even an african you understand there are a lot of resources there the only the foreigners are enjoying all my africans i beg you when you go to the ballot to elect i know democracy was forced in africa try to elect someone who can change don't go and elect like you don't have a brain guys so i believe the government is watching and they will try to see how they can help these vloggers we don't want to see only kenyan travel vloggers vlogging along the nairobi expressway is that the only thing that we have what is the nairobi expressway guys if you travel to other countries that is not even a road we need to showcase what we have we need to showcase a lot of things about our country we have the phones now we have the cameras now we have the computers to edit the videos we have everything now some the youths have tried to buy these things for themselves so that they can do something like even there is even some towns whereby even if a youth is photoed with a, is, is seen with a camera shooting a video to showcase the beauty of africa he is arrested he or she is arrested which kind of policies do africans try to make for against for we will never progress what is that so guys that's how i talk when i'm trying to pass my message i believe that you feel like ah this guy is very angry i'm not angry i'm just trying to pump some brain in your head so that you can think also because right now even youtube if you can use the current click of youtubers in the whole country to, to showcase what kenya has to offer it will bring in more tourism because it's a form of advertising right these youtubers will earn money from youtube foreign revenue you understand in dollars it brings also more ex foreign exchange you understand a lot of businesses will be promoted in form of advertising on youtube and on facebook and on twitter on everywhere if we lessen this on how people can videograph because you know we have the policies that you should not videograph we should not film the government premises yes but we should now learn how to lessen also these kind of rules to allow people to go to our national parks and also to allow them okay they are allowed to go but they cannot afford why because the prices are too high the foreigners only will afford it in fact the foreigner will should be charged even one million to go and film in the national park but for us we should be charged even five thousand or something like that to go and do that why should we be charged more money like the, just the foreigners are being charged to come and